So a lot of our listeners probably are familiar with your books and uh, maybe went through some of the marriage preparation tools that you guys have. And I know a lot of people have been trained to use that in, you know, pre-marriage type classes and preparation work. Uh, and as you mentioned, you and Leslie have been doing this for over three decades. So I wanted to know as we get going here, what have you seen over the course of the last, last 30 years um, that, that you've seen relationships and marriage preparation is changing? What, what shifts and trends are you observing over the last 30 years? Not much. Uh, people still long to be married. Uh, the vast majority of people want to be married for life. Uh, I guess if we look at uh, sociological trends, one of the biggest changes have, has been way more cohabitation than ever before. And so people put off marriage. They they do what sociologists call sliding rather than deciding in marriage. And so they move in together thinking that's a good way to, to kind of test the water. So that I guess that's a significant change. And then maybe another change would be um, just that they've so many people have seen examples of how not to be married they came from homes where mom and dad didn't provide the greatest example of marriage and so uh, that used to be the minority of folks and now it's the majority of course and so those are two big uh, shifts on the positive side what we see is technology being leveraged like never before to help people we don't have to we no longer have to wonder what is it that we can help couples do to have a you know a strong and thriving marriage. It's the research is in. It's very evident what needs to take place in order to build uh, a bond that lasts that lasts a lifetime. 